tree trouble. On the island of Sodor, there are lots and lots of trees. There are tall trees and short trees, thick trees and thin trees, and even Christmas trees. Thomas chuffed cheerfully into Knapford Station. Thomas was happy to see the winter holiday decorations. They glittered and glowed. Percy was there. Hello, Percy. Hello, Thomas. Dowager Hat is talking to the Diesels. Thomas was surprised. He rolled forward to listen. I will come to the new diesel works to see the Christmas tree at tea time. Make sure you find one that's the tallest and grandest. The diesels grinned with delight. Thomas's firebox fizzed. What about the steamworks? We should have the tallest and grandest Christmas tree. What's that? Speak up, Thomas. I'm sorry, sir. I excuse me, ma'am. Perhaps we could find a grand and tall Christmas tree for the steamworks as well. Dowager Hat beamed. What japes! A competition! <laughs> I shall be the judge. Diesel snarled. Thomas smiled. Now puff away and be really useful engines. Later, Thomas and Percy were at the steamworks. It's a competition, Victor, and Thomas is going to win! Suddenly, there was a honking and a hooting from outside the steamworks. It was Diesel, Den, and Dart. They were cross. We'll find the grandest and tallest tree. We'll win and you'll lose. We know that, you see? No, you won't. I know where to find grand trees and I'll puff there first. Thomas pumped his pistons and huffed huffily away. Thomas chuffed on with the diesels behind. He puffed and he huffed with one thing in mind. I'll find the grandest and tallest tree. I'll win and they'll lose. That's how it'll be. At Maithwaite Station, Thomas and the Diesels saw two trees standing side by side. The Diesels honked and hooted. Ours is the grandest tree. It's green and it's glossy, it's bushy and bold. Thomas sighed. The trees are both grand, but they're not tall at all. They're short and they're stumpy. <gasps> I know where to find tall trees. Thomas's wheels whirred. Thomas wished on with the diesels behind. He puffed and he huffed with one thing in mind. I'll find the grandest and tallest tree. I'll win and they'll lose. That's how it'll be. At Marin Station, Thomas and the diesels saw another two trees standing side by side. The diesels hooted and honked. Our tree is the tallest. Thomas rattled his rods. The trees are both tall, but they're not grand at all. They're weak and they're wobbly. I know where to find trees that are tall and grand. And I'll race there first. Thomas steamed on. 